Are you getting tired of scorch marks on your garments whenever you try to apply custom heat transfers or CAG cut heat transfer vinyl? Well, don't worry because we have a solution for you and it's only four steps. So keep watching this video to find out how you can eliminate scorch marks on all of your heat printed garments. So I'm going to talk about something called the arch method, which was introduced by Josh Ellsworth, one of our heat printing experts in the US. And this method has proven successful time and time again with products that we've personally printed here and that our customers are fusing in their printing workshops. So let's talk a little bit more about what the arch method is and how you can utilize it in your business. The four steps of the arch method are accurate pressure, reduced temperature transfer, cover sheet and heated lower platen. The first thing to look at is accurate pressure. If you're applying too much pressure to your garments through your heat press, this will cause a scorch mark regardless of whether you're printing onto something that's a little bit more of a sensitive material or not. Making sure that your pressure is a medium between a four and a six on a Hotronics press is the first step to making sure that you're not putting press boxes onto any of your products. With Hotronics heat presses, this is made super easy because of the digital pressure readout. So you can see exactly what pressure you're heat pressing at on any garment or accessory. So whether it's a hoodie or a sweatshirt or a jacket or a coat, something a bit thicker, or if it's just a t-shirt, whether that be polyester or cotton or something a little bit thinner like that, you can get accurate pressure every single time. The second thing to consider is the temperature that your heat transfer is applying. Ultra color transfers fuse at just 120 degrees Celsius for 12 seconds. So a really, really low temperature transfer, which of course reduces the amount of heat that you're putting onto the garment. So if you can opt for a transfer that has a slightly lower fuse temperature, you're reducing the amount of heat that you're putting onto that garment and therefore reducing the chance of scorch marks. The third thing to consider is the cover sheet that you're using. If you're just fusing onto t-shirts with either screen printed DTF or ultra color transfers, chances are you're using a cover sheet like this. This is just our release paper. It's quite thin and it just makes sure that the carrier doesn't lift up before the transfer is ready to peel. However, it doesn't offer as much protection as something like a Grip Flex pad would. As you can see, the Grip Flex pad is a lot thicker. Adding an extra layer of protection in between that top heated platen and your garment will reduce the chances of there being scorch marks on your garments. This is an essential accessory for any heat printer in our opinion. The fourth and final step to the arch method is a heated lower platen. If you're familiar with Hotronics machines, you'll know that they do all have interchangeable changeable lower platens. So you can swap out the main platen that it comes with and put a smaller one on so that you can fuse onto different garments and accessories. We also create what's called a power platen, which is what I'm holding here. All you have to do is pop this onto your press, plug it into the power bank and it will heat up, allowing majority of the heat that's needed for your application to come from underneath the garment rather than the top. So you can reduce the temperature that's needed on the top heated plate and put majority of heat through the bottom. Another fantastic accessory brought to you by Styles Hotronics and will save you a lot of time and money when it comes to eliminating press boxes. Let's recap four steps to the arch method. Firstly, are you using accurate pressure and do you need to adjust it slightly to bring it down to medium? Secondly, are you using the right transfer for the product you're trying to apply? Do you need to bring that temperature down slightly? Number three, are you using the correct cover sheet? If you need something a bit thicker go with a grip flex. If you need a power pattern for your heat press to reduce that lower heat and reduce the scorch marks on your garments, then 100% consider power patterns as a heat press accessory for your business. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you do have any further questions on scorch marks or anything related to heat printing, don't hesitate to get in touch. And until then, we'll see you next week with another video.